because now you see with the with the bigger units when i'm talking of the bigger units the two bedroom and three bedroom they are normally on high demand during the peak season because mm -hmm. families are coming to Mombasa. Uh, but these other ones the one bedroom and the studio apartments mm -hmm. they are normally of the same demand simply because people coming for, for for these other smaller units either they are coming on a budget or they are coming for work purposes the conferences and all that that we have in Mombasa. Okay. Yes. Uh, that's why you realize uh, in terms of uh, peak season and the rates that we charge for the smaller units, mm -hmm. that is the one bedroom and the studio, mm -hmm. uh, they don't change as, as such. Mm -hmm. Because uh, for the studio, uh, when it's peak season, say April or August or December, November, mm -hmm. will increase to 1800. You see, that is only 300. And then for the one bedroom, it will increase maybe with 200 to 500. But okay. when it comes to the two bedroom and the three bedroom, Ladies and gentlemen, today is very windy, but currently I'm en route to Bamburi. Bamburi is actually in uh, Mombasa County. Currently I'm in Kilifi County. It's too windy. You can literally feel your body being pushed. This season in Akwanga wind evil. Saiko Ju Sana. 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 Saiko Ju Lakini, eh? So I'm asking the guy, why is it too windy? Like, is it always like this? Since this is my first year in Mombasa or uh, coastal Kenya. But uh, for this month, it's too windy. And also it's because of the cyclone Hidaya. Uh, which was announced uh, sometimes back. Now, this bridge here is what separates Kilifi County from Mombasa County. The bridge is still under construction, not actually still under construction, but they are constructing another bridge since this road is being expanded. Yeah, the road is actually under construction. The bridge is called um, Twapa Bridge, and uh, this is one of the major highway from Malindi to Mombasa CBD and currently we will spend a lot of time a lot of minutes on this particular road while heading to CBD simply because the road is not in a good state but I'm sure once they have been able to construct it and it's tarmac everything will be superb as I get to show you some of the ongoing construction along this highway this is Malindi highway currently we will spend like one hour heading to Mombasa CBD from Twapa but I'm very sure once the road has been uh, completed and everything is okay you will spend like uh, 20 minutes 15 minutes you are in Mombasa CBD one hour is a lot of time to spend in a road especially for a short distance like from Twapa to Mombasa CBD but uh, we can't wait for that day that particular day when we'll be spending like 15 minutes and you are in Mombasa CBD or 20 minutes you are in Mombasa CBD I came across this school van uh, which the front tires had actually entered inside the, this particular drainage yeah so I don't know what the driver was thinking but uh, or uh, he missed uh, I can't even understand but uh, anyway we have to observe safety I can see that the children uh, the school children were very safe inside the vehicle it's only that the two front tires had entered inside the drainage and this is the progress of the construction along this highway
Now, the road that we are currently uh, using has been tarmacked. This section, not the whole of it, it's actually a uh, uh, a few distance like a uh, 400 uh, meters yeah so it has been tarmacked and uh, previously we were using the other side uh, on the on the left yeah that one which is not tarmacked but this section has been tarmacked and uh, for testing purposes it's very smooth it's very the experience is okay uh, we can't wait to get the full experience when everything has been tarmacked and we have a lot of resorts along this road so, Now, if you are coming from um, Tuapa, of course you'll have to cross that bridge. So you'll alight at this particular place, it's called uh, Bamburi Junction. Then you proceed to Bamburi, and currently we are in Mombasa County. So, no longer in Kilifi County. Once you cross that bridge, we are in Mombasa County. Let's go to Bamburi, see what awaits us. It looks like it's about to rain. Hopefully I'm not going to get rain on. We are not going to get rain on. I'm supposed to take a matatu somewhere around this corner. Guys, I'm in this area in Bamburi. It's called uh, Fisheries. I'm supposed to meet someone, but I'm so angry. First of all, let's try uh, this uh, Mombasa street food. Yeah, later on I'm going to call that guy so that uh, we can meet. But for now, let me first of all get to enjoy shawarma. And here, I'm drinking uh, avocado juice. It's not as tasty as you might thought, but uh, let's enjoy shawarma. Then we proceed to other errands here in fisheries, of which I'm meeting someone in a few. Mm -hmm. Hello, Nyaje Edi. Eh, hey, me ndo huyo hapa niko fisheries hapa. Eh, hey, naingia na njia gani hapa penye kuna hiyo staff na IEBC signpost. Ah. Uh, oh, ninge nayo cab road. Ah, ya sawa ina shida. Yo, I kuna chuda hospital somewhere hapo. Kuna super loaf hapa nikiingia na injia. Oh. Uh, yeah, so uh, that is the guy that I'm about to meet. Uh, he's going to show me some of the BNBs that he has here in uh, Bamburi and uh, you know if you are on a budget and you are here in Bamburi, you want somewhere to sleep, you want to book a BNB. These are some of the guys you should be contacting. So stay put. Let me first of all enjoy here a shawarma in Bamburi, then we proceed Zanzibar. to see the BNBs. Zanzibar, Zan Zanzibar shawarma, and it's going for 100 shillings. And here, for we repay it later. This is my my dish is my is my fed fed. Yeah, but if you are in Bamburi, 
uh, close to the place. There's this uh, one of the night joint. It's called the place. You will get Zanzibar, Zanzibar Shawarma here. Okay, okay, it will be a shout out. One year, baby. One year? Oh. You can ask for planet 31st, but you can see that 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 you Hot and spicy. Hot and spicy. You can say you can say you can say you can say So let's get to try this uh, shawarma. This is chicken. Very delicious. And this is the top chef here at Zanzibar Shawarma in Bamburi. You can't pass Zanzibar without buying a shawarma. Yeah, you have to try the shawarma. Very delicious. All right, let me finish. Then we proceed to see the BNBs. Right, so uh, this area here is called uh, fisheries, and uh, I've been told to enter through this uh, particular road which has a uh, cabrons. There's a place called Superlof, so that's where I'll be meeting my guy. Let's head and see. Nowadays, Bamburi is more vibrant compared to Mtuapa, and uh, the only reason it's funny. Because if you actually walk along that particular street, uh, the one uh, where I've alighted, you will come across a lot of nightclubs, like 20 meters, 10 meters, 5 meters, nightclub, nightclub. And that was the life previously in um, Tuapa. But then people migrated from Tuapa to Bamburi. So much, my guy. Undoing Gabo? Ah, yeah, so I mean, go my shugly shugly up. Then I'm talking. Eh, I am poor. Yeah, so we have quite a number of businesses along this particular road. And now this is super low. Let me call the guy. Okay. Let me call the guy. I don't know where he is. Let's see. The guy is called Eddie. Eh, neko neko apa super love. Eh? Ah yeah, so. Yeah. We have quite a number of businesses along this road. So the guy has told me uh, we pass this uh, to the healthcare. Then somewhere ahead of me there is a junction. Let me show you this area of Bamburi called Fisheries. And these are some of the residential buildings. 
Music will give me copyright. Let me pause. So I'm not so sure which direction the guy is coming from because uh, we have this other side. We also have this other side. All these are residential buildings here in, uh, in fisheries. Let me wait for him. This is the first time we are meeting. I've never seen him, but um, he's a brother to my friend, my former colleague. Yeah, so let's wait for him and see what uh, fisheries has to offer on this particular day. Radan Gani? Kuram said that I could meet up, Ivy. I'm Seflana Kurama BNB. I have poor Maze. I have, a, I have so many friends here in um, Bamburi, they actually live here in Bamburi Fisheries. So, uh, this is the guy I'm meeting. Me Aje? Apo yiko saa? Songa mbele kidogo? Apo? Apo yiko saa? Apo yiko saa? Covid Shere 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 lazima. Ani shere polite. Ni hapa hivi. Ni hapa hivi. Oh, eh. Kuna mingi na brother ko huko side za Mombasa. I'm not going to be able to do it. Bamboo. Yeah, yeah, job. Ah. Yeah, so Views <laughs> 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 So this is more of a, like a studio. Yeah, it's a studio. A studio. So we have here a bed which is a this is five by six. Okay. Then uh, there's a chair, a seat here, a two seater. Yeah, depending with uh, also how big you are. If uh, you are not that big, and three of you can actually fit here. Yeah. Then also there's a fridge. Yeah, there's a fridge here. 
microwave. Yeah, you also, you don't have to eat outside. There's a small kitchen here. Since it's a studio, apartment, you have here a cooker. There's a gas with a burner and a, yeah, holder. Then on this other side, uh, bathroom. Yeah, we have a bathroom here, uh, spacious. Yeah, so this one can accommodate like how many people? Mm, per sitting, I think two two people max. But uh, we've had cases whereby a client comes with a small child. Okay. Say below five years. Okay. So they can still fit. Okay. Five by six bed. Five by six. So we're saying a couple uh -huh. plus a kid or a couple. Or a couple. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. And also you get to enjoy here your favorite shows, Netflix, if you want to play music. It has Wi-Fi. Yes, yes. Alright. Then also, uh, if you are someone who likes to study or uh, you just want to work on your laptop, yeah, there's a small chair here. You can sit, place your laptop here, or your, this is called uh, like a work area. Water. So someone has to purchase water or uh, you guys uh, do the purchasing? Mm, normally, mm -hmm. you know in Bamburi, yeah. or better still in Mombasa at large, uh -huh. we have a problem with the... Is it cl not clean water, but drinking water. Drinking most, water. most of our uh, tapped water is salty. Yeah, yeah. So what we recommend is, yeah. uh, this 20 liter goes for 50 shillings in okay. Mombasa, fresh water that is. Uh, so when a clans come in, mm -hmm. uh, this one will be on his or her own budget. Okay. That is 50 bob per 20 liters. Okay. But apart from that, uh, cleaning water, bathing water and washroom water, you can still use the salty water. The salt water. Yeah. So this one is only for drinking and maybe cooking if you want to cook. Yeah. yeah. I realize in Mombasa it's very hard to get a place where you'll get a like direct a, a fresh water I from the tap. Uh, it's very rare. Very rare. Even at my place, the uh, same. Uh, you'll get a, and water is very plenty here in Mombasa, mm -hmm. yeah. free of charge. Free, but <laughs> yeah, but salty. salty yeah. 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 But considering the weather, the hot weather and. Uh, the, the high demand of fresh water, I think uh -huh. the rates, or rather the prices are very much favorable. Because yeah. if you see, 20 liters for 50 shillings, that is very yeah. cheap and very affordable. Affordable, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. True. Yeah. So, for how long have you been uh, having this? Uh, uh, we've been in operation since uh, 2020. Since 2020? 2020, yeah. That is roughly four years. This okay. is the fourth year, actually. Yeah. So the, there, are, there are clients who are there in the first year, mm -hmm. the second year, they'll tell you uh, what we have right now is pretty much different because after every year or after every few months, we, we do some like, like an up, 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 go, yeah, and okay. we change some one or two things. Uh. Mm -hmm. So you'll find maybe this chair was blue mm -hmm. a year or two ago, okay. but right now, since that one became kind of old, mm -hmm. we had to buy a new one. So okay. there are changes that we do from time to time. Right, and also one of the most important things actually, if you want to live peacefully in Mombasa, <laughs> you, you must have a fun. Yes. Yeah. So you have said that we have this uh, like uh, here, this BNB studio apartment, then also there's another one. Yes, uh, in fact in this building mm -hmm. we have uh, eight of them. Eight. Uh, we have eight of them. Okay. Uh, the, the main issue, the main challenge would be mm. you won't be able to access all of them because mm -hmm. uh, some of them are already occupied. occupied oh, yeah, yeah. So I'll show you one. Mm -hmm. Think of the second floor, mm. and then there is another one on the sixth floor. Okay. Yes. So the, the, the stairs is not an issue because we also have a lift. Okay. Yeah. Convenient. From time to time. Yeah. So all of them are the studio apartments. Yes. Or are we here we have studio apartments. The other end mm. we have one bedroom. The same, same uh, size, same design, everything. Uh, you know, the, 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 the funny thing with the studios is that yeah. you can have five, ten, but uh, when it comes to design, mm -hmm. simply because you never started them at the same time, mm -hmm. you won't have the same design. The same. You, you'll have a look at the other one. Oh. Kind of, you'll feel there's some variety of things. That but you, uh, you uh, the whole structure, like uh, now the space, like uh, the way. Uh, the rooms were constructed like you see like for this one is is it the same not really. same size like uh, on the sixth floor it's yeah. kind of small but it has a balcony okay it has a balcony space and then these ones that don't have a balcony space mm. they're kind of big okay
Okay. So it depends with the client. Sometimes clients are always for we want a huge space. A bit sitter yes, a studio mm-hmm. apartment yes, mm-hmm. but with a huge space. And there are others who are like we only need a balcony. We okay. don't matter. It, it doesn't matter if the, the, the space is small or but we only need a balcony. Okay. So according to a client's demands, mm-hmm. they'll place them. All right. Mm-hmm. So we can get to see the one at the second floor. Okay. Yeah, then uh you said we there we also have others that will yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, so stay put. Later on we'll be telling you guys uh how much like uh, if you are with, within uh, what budget you can be able to afford these uh, studio apartments. Yes. The other ones are one bedroom, two bedroom. We have one bedroom. We uh-huh. have a uh, two bedroom okay. and we have a uh, three bedroom. Three bedroom. Yes, yes. Yeah, so uh Eddie here will be giving you a price range. So if you are on a budget, you just call him. And also, if you want to have fun in Bamburi, enjoy with friends and have somewhere to sleep peacefully, this is the guy here in Bamburi. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's proceed. Tell me about our security of this place. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, I've, yeah, I've seen like in every floor you guys have uh, CCTV cameras. Then apart from that, uh-huh. we have on the side and the gate who oh. handles the security uh-huh. and inquiries and any other issue that you might have. Uh-huh. It serves as the caretaker as well. Okay. Yeah, for those uh, guys who don't uh, know Maasai, actually Maasai is one of the famous tribe here in Kenya yeah. and also in Tanzania. I believe they originated from Tanzania. Okay. Yeah, so they normally provide uh, good services, especially when it comes to security. And uh, you guys have been guaranteed the security of this place is okay. So you are guaranteed of your safety. Okay, let's get to check the other room. Now this is the second uh, studio apartment. You have seen the first one, and uh, in a way, they look similar, like in terms of uh, arrangement, uh, also the round table, uh, small details that matters. Uh, this one, uh, the mat is uh, perfect. I can say perfect for a studio apartment. Then here you have uh, your fridge. You have your microwave, you have here your cooker, here is a small kitchen, uh, if you want to cook, if you want to do washing, yeah. But if you don't want to cook, you can also still eat outside, then you just come and sleep. Yeah, this is the bathroom, uh, there's a shower there, let me see if I'll be able to put on, uh, yeah. You might actually think the light is shaking, but it's not shaking. It's very stable. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Don't be in Bamburi and get stranded when Ed here has BNBs to sort you out on a good budget. So again here, uh, you can use this as a study table. We have here a small screen. Uh, you can watch movie, enjoy yourself. Uh, there's a bed here, uh, perfectly. Uh, how do you say when you are actually, you keep your bed tidy, uh, you have actually, you have spread your bed, yeah. 
a well spread bed over here uh, what's this Lans this is soap yeah this is soap you have a towel here an extra sheet to cover yourself because in Momba in mombasa who needs a blanket anyway you don't need a blanket to need to sleep in mombasa you can even sleep just like this without even covering yourself without even using uh, this particular uh, sheet because the warmth here is something else yeah also at this point uh, i normally see these kind of stands are uh, being made along uh, malindi road uh, uh, around the uh, shanzu area and also mtwapa yeah i've seen them so you can place your boots you can place your shoes yeah depending on how you choose or how you want to utilize it uh, that's so new and here i think this is my favorite part okay how do we open up oh, so you just slide it so for me uh this here if i was the one living in here most of the time i won't even spend on that particular seat i won't spend inside this studio apartment but i'll be spending outside here at the balcony the light tick the views tick you actually get to see your neighbors check out the residential buildings surrounding this particular place And we are here in Bamburi. Now, you have two chairs here at the balcony. And since it's a studio apartment, which means most likely it will host one or two people. So, you can also come here with your lover, your girlfriend, your mpango kando. You know what I'm talking about, yeah. So, come here with someone or even friends, yeah. You can come, chill, yeah. Let me see if I'll be able to get a thumbnail over here. Uh, so guys this is the third bnb our uh, studio apartment that uh, actually we are checking it out and uh, it's remember all of them are in the same building uh, the building has lift so you can actually uh, take a lift to your floor uh, to your room or to your studio so uh, the arrangement is uh, pretty much same yeah it's only small details like here you have a stand you can put your shoes also, uh, in every room we have seen that you will get to uh, have a television, a fridge, a microwave, and a cooker. Also, the most important part about uh, these uh, Mombasa houses, you should never move into a house that doesn't have a fan. If it's very hot, uh, you will find it uh, very hard to sleep. But uh, so far, yeah, all these are studio apartments in this particular building and. Uh, it can accommodate two people, uh, couples with a small child or one person. That's okay. So uh, Ed is going to show me other rooms. That is a uh, one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom maybe. And uh, let's go and check them out. Then later on, of course, you'll get to know the prices. So for a night, for a day, 
but uh, depending with how Eddie has arranged, yeah, he will be telling us in a few. Actually, uh, before you forget, cleanliness is one of the most important thing. And if you have been very careful, if you have been very keen, you have noticed that all the studio apartments that we have been able or have been able to show you guys, they are very clean, very tidy, and uh, that is also one of the most important thing that you guys should always look out. Cleanliness is something else. The rooms are well cleaned for convenience and for your peaceful stay. Also, there's a bathroom, yeah. So, yeah, the bathrooms are pretty much the same. You have a shower there, there's a toilet here. Yeah, you get to enjoy it special, so... You won't feel like you are in a tiny place. That one, I guarantee you. Easy. Now, uh, we are heading to the next uh, building where we are going to see other houses. So, for this building, you will get a studio, apartments. And uh, I told you guys they have a lift, so you don't have to worry, like, why, how will I climb all those stairs up to 6th floor or 7th uh, floor? Yeah. So let's head and see other available Airbnbs here in Bamburi Fisheries. Zote Zikopa Fisheries, Sama? Okay. Unajua hata nilikuwa nauliza pia mtu wa bike nikitoka kejani. Hey, na mbona iko wind hivi? Hey, it's kind of funny considering ni Mombasa. Yeah. There's never been this wind. Yeah, because hata nilimuuliza like every May it, it's always like this wind. Yeah, akasema hapana. You mean my 4 5 years in Mombasa? Eh, yeah. never experienced such. Ama ni hidaya bado inaendelea. Hidaya, yeah. Eh? Cyclone hidaya. <laughs> In the Kabado cyclone had Hidaya at the Adija. Never know. Say, eh, you Mombasa or you are the Mombay and Puerta Kujesha, Mingi, Utaki, yeah. To hope in the next few days, you need to come back to Nome. Yeah. So, uh, you have been in this business for how long? For four years. Four years? Mm. Ah. Four years. It pays? Yeah, it pays. Yeah. <laughs> it pays. Kenya, yeah. under normal circumstances, in Kenya, as you can see, you can see it. Yeah. The and fact normal. that you've been there for, we've been there for that much, Yeah. Uh, it shows you, Yeah. it has some return. Yeah, yeah, yeah mm. true. Mm. But also, there was a time you guys uh, were really affected. Uh, the COVID time, Mama, this is the other time when there were a lot of insecurities. A lot of uh, insecurities, COVID uh, time. By the way, how did the insecurity affect uh, you guys? COVID, COVID yes, it was yeah. a concern. Uh -huh. COVID yes, it was a concern because uh -huh. everyone was affected literally, yes. Yeah, true. But apart from that, yeah. uh, the other time when we were experiencing insecurities because of the Nenea, the constant uh, murders and you know, that people were kind of the crimes that associating were with BNBs. Eh? Yeah, I think it was just a matter of uh, enhancing security. Because for us, what we did, yeah. uh, we, we 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 installed uh, CCTV cameras. You've seen them. Yeah, I've seen. And then apart from that, uh, when uh, when someone checks in, eh, mm -hmm. we have to take uh, their records just in case. All our payments, again, we, we insist on MPESA payments and it should re reflect the same details uh, that you have as a person. When you're talking of the same details, you're talking of ID. ID uh, like the names. Are, ID yeah. names, yes, yes. The, the details on the ID should reflect the payment. So that in case of anything, we have a track record of the said client. Okay. You know? yeah, true. That's how we've managed to improve the security. And then the good thing again with Mombasa, mm -hmm. uh, unlike Nairobi, mm -hmm. Mombasa there is uh, some sense of, not responsibility as such, but some sense of security, uh, whereby I believe people respect each other. Uh, even during the time when we are having issues with the, with the, 
the, the murders and all that in, in Nairobi, mm -hmm. you realize there was no such case in Mombasa. Mombasa yeah. Or a reported case, sort of. Huh? Yeah. So I believe uh, in terms of security and responsibility, mm -hmm. Mombasa is way much better than Nairobi. Okay. Yeah. So that is our advantage. Oh. Yes. But you know, with security, you never know what will happen tomorrow. Yeah, but so uh, we, we, we only hope for the best. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. So for those guys who don't know, uh, M-Pesa, M-Pesa is one of the major payment uh, platform here in Kenya and right now M-Pesa is even going uh, global, you can shop from, uh, is it Aliexpress, from Amazon, yes. yeah, you see, you, and pay by, via M-Pesa global, mm -hmm. so you just go to your phone, you want to send money to someone instantly or you want to pay for goods in a supermarket, in a shop somewhere, yeah, it's an instant transaction. Yeah, also one thing I've realized in this area, uh, if you happen to live here in an BNB, access to food, it's very easy. And also if you are that person who wants to go out uh, during the night and enjoy yourself again, uh, it's a very short distance, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Very much accessible. Yeah. All right, let's get to see the other house. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Now we are in this particular building. This is the second building. Remember the first building? Uh, I was showing you the studio apartments. Uh, this one has one bedroom. So again, all of these are Airbnbs. If you want to live in and you are in Mombasa, Bamburi, don't worry. Eddie will be leaving uh, his number there. You just call him, arrange, find out if there's a vacant uh, studio apartment find out if there's a vacant or one bedroom then you guys make arrangement but this is how it is so uh in this one bedroom we have a uh, so this is the balcony uh, balcony area you can get to you know if you want to relax here at the balcony maybe enjoy your drink yeah this is how the area looks like uh pretty much these are all residential uh, buildings people live this in this particular uh, buildings but we also have bnbs now uh, as you enter from the balcony this is uh the bedroom here we have a five by six bed again well spread uh very neat i told you guys uh the tidiness in this building is amazing and uh and also the cleanliness yeah very clean all these are houses are very clean you have here a small uh, how do you call this wardrobe or what yeah but actually it's like a kind of a table but uh, anyway you can get to put your things inside here and also on this other side we have a, a small uh, wardrobe you get to hang your clothes over there you get to place uh, your other items here your shoes down there also there's a closed one here uh, with shelves yeah you can also fold your clothes and put them yeah so uh the room is spacious for one bedroom uh this bedroom is spacious for one bedroom and uh so far i like it on this other side uh this is the bathroom yeah again here we have a sink you get to wash your hands wash your face yeah uh, you get to shower also on this other side there's a toilet there and uh look how clean it is it's very clean like you can actually touch uh down yeah you have a pair of slippers here and a small mirror now all these houses they have mirrors so you don't have to worry again uh like you know when you groom yourself you have a mirror here so yeah you will enjoy uh, on this other side this is the living space and uh we have here a seat this is a two-seater we have here a table a round table here with two chairs again you can choose to sit here or you can even put them uh, at the balcony and just uh, relax there have a glass of whiskey we also have a, another small table here and wi-fi 
very important because with this current age or this current uh, generation access to internet is very important you have here a smaller tv stand a small screen there uh, you can watch netflix listen to music now on this other side we have a small kitchen uh, with a cooker a two burner cooker so you can choose to if you want to cook for yourself again i told you guys uh, if you just go outside this particular building you will see a lot of uh, grocery shop you can purchase your food you can go to the supermarket we have uh, quite a number of supermarkets along this particular road here in bamburi then you come and also we have butchery so if you are a fan of meat yeah you go and purchase you come and cook for yourself but if you don't want to do that you have an option of just going outside there uh, eat the food is very uh, it's not that expensive I'll say very pocket friendly so with a budget of like um, with a budget of like uh, five dollars three dollars you get to actually enjoy the food to the fullest let's wait for Eddie to come then we see if you're going to see another room or if we'll be heading to a different building but this building has a uh, th this building has one bedroom uh, BNBs and I told you fun one of the most important tool in Mombasa basically you know any building either you have a AC or if you don't have one you have a fan because of the uh, climate or the weather condition here in Mombasa now unlike the other one bedroom uh, where the balcony was at the bedroom area this one the balcony is actually at the living area so uh, this is your balcony then uh, it's very long from that particular farthest end uh, just see how yeah it's very long and these are the neighboring buildings here in Bamburi. So from the balcony you enter uh, into the living room and uh, this one uh, the capacity especially when it comes to sitting capacity you have here these are uh, four seater or three five seater. three seater yeah, a, big one. a big one yeah a very big three seater you can sit like four people also on this other side we have another one and uh, just like all the others one the other houses that i've shown you you also have a tv here you have a study table or a work area if you have a laptop you need to have something on your laptop you can actually sit there now that sound is coming from there very important also you have here a small kitchen if you want to cook for yourself uh, you have a cooker here a four burner cooker you also have an extra gas cylinder here uh, this one yeah on this other side you have a fridge and also you have a microwave now this is the bedroom okay here we have a hey any five by six some are six by six, six, by six. this one is six by six yeah this one is very huge yeah we have a very big bed here uh six by six all right also you have here a wardrobe you can hang your clothes there you have a mirror remember again in every room or in every house that we have visited you will also you will always find a room or they have a room so here you have also a wardrobe you can fold your clothes keep them inside there uh, let me show you guys uh, the bathroom area again this is the bathroom area very spacious you have your shower over there uh, toilet there here you can wash your clothes we have a sink here and uh, yeah it's very spacious this one can accommodate like how many people 
Uh, under normal circumstances, uh, we say three, but uh, we make exceptions. Mm -hmm. uh, in some instances, maybe mm -hmm. say four people, because we have an extra mattress. I don't know if you found that. There's an extra mattress? There's an extra mattress there. So, in, in some instances, huh? we fix the other end. Oh. Uh, there's an extra mattress somewhere there. Yeah, also there's an extra mattress mm -hmm. here. Uh -huh. So, if we are talking of an extra person, mm -hmm. maybe say four people. Okay. Uh, four people is okay. Four people. Mm, four people is okay. But then again, now when it comes to charges, uh -huh. when we are talking of two people and four people, that, 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 those are different rates. Uh, those are different rates. Yes. Mm. By the way, talking of prices, now that we have seen the studio apartments, mm -hmm. now what is the price range for the studio apartments? That is, uh, mm. let, let's say, per night. Uh -huh. uh, for, for the studio apartments, normally we charge 1500 1500 that is Kenya shillings per night. Per night? Yes. Uh, and then when it comes to the one bedroom, uh -huh. if it's uh, only two people, that's uh, maybe may a couple or two people, uh -huh. we charge between 2200 to uh -huh. 2000 That is depending on the season uh -huh. and the, the, the demand. Uh -huh. Better still the season. Because uh -huh. when you're talking of uh, April, August and December, Normally we have a lot of inquiries, so we have to increase the price a little bit. Oh, but under okay. normal circumstances, mm -hmm. the minimum we can take for this unit, the one bedroom, is two thousand. Okay. And then for every extra person, mm -hmm. we charge extra five hundred. Okay. Uh, that, that's why I've told you uh, in this specific unit where we have an extra mattress, we can charge five hundred per extra person. Per extra person. Yes, but we only accept up to maximum four people. Four people. So we'll say an extra a thousand. Okay. For the extra two people. Okay. So that will amount to maybe roughly three thousand per per night. Per night. Yes. 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 Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, pretty much affordable uh, for someone who is on a budget. Uh, imagine uh, having a studio apartment here in Bamburi for only fifteen hundred a night, or uh, getting this uh, spacious one bedroom for two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand per night. Uh, that is a uh, per couple. Yes. Per couple. Then an extra person is five hundred yes. per person. Yes. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, it's still within budget, very affordable, and uh, you guys have told you the security again is okay. Uh, also, the tidiness and the cleanliness in these particular houses, uh, that's that's very amazing. One thing I've also noticed, and uh, uh, so far, now, uh, talking of, uh, there's something you, you said, and uh, uh, you talked about, uh, yeah, the peak seasons. Like you have said, uh, Sometimes, let's say, for example, the month of December, yes. you guys will have to increase, increase the price. Yes, yes. Which other month apart from December? Uh, normally, uh -huh. in the Kenyan calendar, yeah. normally it's normally April, April because of the Easter holidays, uh -huh. and then August uh -huh. because of school closing and all that, uh -huh. and then November and December, uh -huh. basically because of the holidays and school close, uh -huh. closes roughly in December, I believe. Right? Okay. So the two months to, 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 to December, that is November and December. Okay. Yes, yes. Those are the uh, normally those are the peak seasons. But then again, mm -hmm. uh, in as much as they are the peak seasons, we have special uh, uh, consideration for our clients, returning clients. Because okay. if you are here, let's say in January, mm -hmm. and you're coming back in April, mm -hmm. uh, we we won't charge the same rate as we're charging people who are coming in April, provided you book early. Mm -hmm. uh, make the reservations mm -hmm. and you make payments for the same. Okay. Because yes, yes. in the in this business it's normally first come first start, or rather first pay, first get. Okay. So if you're making reservations, mm -hmm. you stand a better chance of getting it uh, rather than someone who will come and pay when enter. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So you have heard from Eddie. So this is the one bedroom. Mm -hmm. So currently uh, after here we are heading to see the uh, I think, uh, mm. apart from this, mm -hmm. we have a two-bedroom, but it's currently occupied. Occupy. Is, okay. That, that is the challenge. Uh -huh. And then we have one three-bedroom, uh -huh. which is also occupied. Occupied. Yes. Okay. Uh, so for a two-bedroom and three-bedroom, mm. uh, what is the uh, price range? If, if you're talking of two-bedroom, mm -hmm. uh, we have the, the, the one that we have, we have a two-bedroom with three beds. One, one, one bedroom. Mm -hmm. Has a bed and the other one has two beds. But, mm -hmm. but the ones that, that, that has two beds, uh -huh. the, the two beds are kind of small, four okay. by six and three by six. Mm -hmm. So we are talking of a family of uh, say maximum five or six. 
-hmm. a couple or maybe two children. Uh -huh. uh, normally we charge 3,500 to 4,500 depending on the season. Mm -hmm. Under normal circumstances, January, February, March, 3,500 will get you the mm -hmm. uh, When it comes to April, August, and November, December, we are taking mm -hmm. it to four, five, or even 5,000. Because mm -hmm. now you see with the, with the bigger units, when I'm talking of the bigger units, the two bedroom and three bedroom, they are normally on high demand during the peak season because mm -hmm. families are coming to Mombasa. Uh, but these other ones, the one bedroom and the studio apartments, mm -hmm. they are normally of the same demand simply because people coming for, for, for these other smaller units, either they are coming on a budget or they are coming for work purposes, the conferences and all that that we have in Mombasa. Okay. Yes. Uh, that's why you realize uh, in terms of uh, peak season and the rates that we charge for the smaller units, mm -hmm. that is the one bedroom and the studio, mm -hmm. uh, they don't change as, a, as such. Mm -hmm. Because uh, for the studio, uh, when it's peak season, say April or August or December, November, mm -hmm. will increase to 1800. You see that is only 300. And then for the one bedroom, it will increase maybe with 200 to 500. Okay. But when it comes to the two bedroom and the three bedroom, will increase by almost a thousand or two thousand. Okay. Yes. Because now with the, the two bedroom we'll charge four thousand five hundred. That is roughly a thousand for the normal rent. And then for the uh, three bedroom, normally we charge five thousand five hundred to six thousand normal rent. When it comes to the December, November, August, April rent, we'll charge eight thousand. You see that is an increase by two thousand. Two thousand yes, yes. So the bigger units when it comes to, to, to peak season we increase. Mm -hmm. simply because the demand is very much higher than mm -hmm. these other small units. Okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, so guys, uh, the prices are in Kenya shillings. You actually need to convert like into dollars, into euro, or uh, yeah, depending from where you are and you want to check how much is it, like 2,000 Kenya shillings, 1,000 Kenya shillings, if I convert to my currency, how much will it be per night? So you just have to convert uh, because the prices are in Kenya shillings then you will get your local currency how much it is and you can also plan visit Kenya visit uh, Bamburi if you are already in Kenya yeah visit Bamburi enjoy life here have a place to stay and here Eddie will make sure you yes. get a place to stay, stay yes yeah uh, very secure place very secure yes yes to bedroom you call up Eddie okay Second floor. On the second floor, how many how many bedrooms do you have? <laughs> <laughs> it's a tricky one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> but anyway, you guys just know that you are very sorted. Uh, if you are in Mombasa and you need somewhere to, you know, you need a BNB, a studio apartment, yeah. And by the way, you haven't uh, given uh, my oh, people the, your the, number. The contacts. Yeah, contacts. Uh, we have uh, social media accounts. Uh, if you're checking our social media, uh, we are normally very active on TikTok, mm -hmm. uh, at Yellow Homes Apartments. Uh -huh. uh, apart from that, we have our contact details that is 0746-585803. That is 0746-585803. When you call it 24-7, you'll get uh, to be served. Uh, apart from that, Facebook, the same same account as uh, the TikTok account, Yellow Homes account. Yes. Alright, so guys, what I'm going to do, uh, Eddie will send me the social media links and also the phone number. I'll be pinning it uh, down in the video description. Yeah, so you can also check them out on uh, Facebook, TikTok, and of course, you can make a call. Yeah, and if you are making a call from outside Kenya, please ensure that you start with our country code, which is plus two five four. Remove zero, then seven. Yes. So, Aura, you can tell them uh, plus two five four. Yes, plus two five four. That is the country code for Kenya. So, if you're making a call from outside Kenya, or better still, you can even uh, WhatsApp. That is plus two five four seven four six five eight five eight zero three. Again, I'll repeat plus two five four. Seven four six five eight five eight zero three. All right. So for now, don't have any fear to book a BNB here in Bamburi and uh, 
yeah we are at the ground and we have shown you guys uh, some of the available uh, that is studio apartment one bedroom we also have two bedroom three bedroom but the only uh, challenge is right now they are occupied and i see sometimes you have to respect someone's privacy you can't just go to where someone stays and start recording but uh in my next video also uh if any of the two becomes a uh, vacant or uh, the person uh, stay comes to an end i'll be able to do a vlog there so that you can get to see the two bedroom and three bedroom so again if you are a family man family woman you are catered for don't worry yeah just make sure that you check out uh, eddie uh, on those particular social media links and also give him a call